how do I get my lawyer to call me back? Oh, that's a million dollar question. Um, so, you know, I, I, I would say persistence um, would be the, the, the operative word. Um, I find that so many people hire lawyers um, because they're desperate, right? And I really think that working with a coach or somebody knows the attorneys in your area that can point you to that. And also like so much of divorce is a gut check, right? Like it's like, what does my gut say? Your head lies, your heart lies, but your gut's almost never wrong. And it's the same thing with hiring an attorney. And, and that's the number one complaint for attorneys is that my attorney won't get back to me, right? And when I was managing a law firm or when I was in practice, like that was an I go, we don't dangle clients ever. There should never be a 24 hour period that goes by without returning that clients, even if it's like, I don't have an answer for you, but you just don't dangle them out there. They're going through enough, you can't dangle them. So my first thing would be like, if your attorney's not calling you back, maybe it's time to look at who that attorney is and whether they're really representing your best interest. Changing lawyers is hard, it's expensive, I wouldn't advise it. But if you have somebody that's not willing to communicate with you and keep you informed about your divorce, then maybe it's time to look at that. Short of that, I think a nicely worded email to them saying, hey, listen, um, I'm going through this divorce. I understand that this is one of many for you, but this is my divorce. These are my kids. These are my finances this is where I'm living and I'm in crisis. So I'm not sure why you're not responding, but we really need to work on our communication. What can I do to help that move that along? And I think most attorneys phrased in that way would respond positively and say, oh God, I'm so sorry. I just was so busy and my paralegal was sick. And then the receptionist was out with the, you know, COVID and, you know, like, and they'll get back on it. Right. And if they just ignore that, then I really think you have to evaluate mm -hmm. whether you have the right attorney or not. That makes sense. And I think what we found is even writing that message, it sounds easy to you. That's another place where a coach yes. could be a good in between. You can talk to them. How should I approach my lawyer? Is this a big deal? Because a lot of times we probably are picking up the phone for times that are not urgent. And maybe our lawyer's like, you don't want to spend $500 to ask me that question. But you, well, you do need to communicate it. Absolutely. And I think that, you know, um, lawyers tend to get really defensive. And clients, A, are remiss in contacting their lawyers because they don't want to be charged, right? Because every time you talk to your lawyer, cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Um, and then two, um, they're afraid of making their lawyer mad. And I tell people all the time, like, it's your case. The attorney works for you, not the other way around. You know, I always said when we, when I was running the law firm, I always said that we are a people business that happens to practice law, right? We are here to take care of our clients. You know, we had a client one day who had a horrible Coke problem, right? And we couldn't get her to focus on her divorce, right? Because she had a broken finger, right? So she had a drug addiction problem and she had a broken finger. And, and we couldn't get anywhere. We were just in this circular argument where we talk, begin to get her to focus and then she'd be like, oh, my finger really hurts. So, I, so we just had the paralegal take her out and take her to urgent care and get her finger fixed. Right. Like, and then we could get down to business. Right. And so I think attorneys can be defensive when you approach them. But, you know, I think if you ask for help, right, like, hey, I'm not getting what I need here. How can we fix this? I need help here. Reminding the attorney that it's not just another case. It's 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 mm -hmm. your life. Right. Mm -hmm. And most well practicing attorneys will meet you there. Mm -hmm. That's good advice. But Yes, it's a stressful situation for sure. So right. have uh, some compassion for yourself, but also be assertive. I think that's what we're looking Absolutely. For.